ंग Uh, how the resistance had overcome so if you haven't watched those videos so i recommend those for you uh, those videos to watch them first okay now here uh, the third video is the, about the amino penicillins okay a uh, wide scored amino penicillin how they are uh, showing uh, efficiency uh, against the uh, resistance strains of the bacteria and uh, how uh, how are they modified Uh, and by my making this modification how have the, how have uh, how they have overcome the resistance okay so in this today's lecture i will discuss these such type of stuff okay uh, first uh, you should know about the uh, the structure of the penicillin uh, it consists of two rings first one is the beta lactam ring the second is the thiazolidine ring and uh, the third is the variable side chain okay so basically we make modifications to this variable side chain okay so when we make modification so we overcome the resistance okay so this was the structure of the penicillin now here come the amino penicillin um, amino penicillin is also known as ampicillin and and also got other uh, other such type of names also but uh, the main name is the ampicillin okay um, basically it is totally the same as the natural penicillin uh, if i want to show you here so just look here penicillin v is natural penicillin i have discussed it in the previous videos okay and now here here is here is the amino penicillin ampicillin okay so just look here they are totally the same just uh, here is an nh2 group just look here to my cursor here is an amino group we have attached it okay and why we have attached and what is its importance i will discuss it in the minute out in uh, in a minute so we have add a amino, amino group so that is why it is known as amino penicillin and just look here uh, it is totally the same as the natural penicillin okay so why we have made this modification now i will tell you guys so this is the amino penicillin okay so keep this thing in mind that uh, the bacteria was showing resistance to the natural penicillin and why uh, and that was such type of resistance uh, there uh, there is special type of proteins that are known as porin proteins porin proteins are such type of channel proteins that allow the entrance of different nutrients inside the cells okay of the bacteria so what does the porin protein do that does not allow the entrance of the natural penicillin although they were first allowing them but later on the bacteria start showing resistance to the natural penicillin okay so what the scientists do they add an amino group to the natural penicillin okay so by adding this amino group what happens that the polarity of the penicillins were increased and the hydrophilic nature was increased so just because of this uh, addition uh, and the increase of the polarity and the hydrophilic nature the porin protein start allowing the these ampicillin because the porin proteins are also hydrophilic in nature so they um, the ampicillin were also hydrophilic they were polar so just because of it uh, they start allowing the entrance of the penicillin so this modification uh, was very much efficient and it was uh, giving fruitful results okay so this is the text you can read it out uh, one thing uh, it was having a drawback and what was the drawback uh, it was have the, the structure was uh, almost totally similar to the natural penicillin so the beta lactamases that were produced by the bacteria against the penicillin were showing the same result to that uh, amino penicillins okay what are basically beta lactamases so beta lactamases are special type of enzymes that are degrading or just destroying the beta lactam ring okay and beta lactam ring is the main principal site of this penicillin when when there is no beta lactam ring the penicillin is of no use okay 
So bacteria was showing resistance in a way that they were they were cleaving this beta lactam ring with the help of the penicillinases or the beta lactamases. Okay, so it was a drawback because uh, it was uh, the beta lactamases were cleaving that beta lactam ring uh, just like the um, natural penicillin. So it was a drawback. So uh, just look here. This is the these are the bacteria that were susceptible to the amino penicillin. So just look here uh, when there was a drawback. So what does the scientist do? They then introduce amino penicillin plus beta lactamases, beta lactamase inhibitors. They were using it in a combination. Okay, means that uh, uh, beta lactamase inhibitors were such type of enzymes that 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 bind or special type of compounds that bind to the beta lactam beta lactamase enzymes and they were blocking their function okay so when they were blocked the beta lactamases were blocked so they cannot act on the beta lactam ring so what does uh, the scientists do they give in combination the beta lactamase inhibitor so ampicillin they actively penetrate the cell membrane of the bacteria and after that uh, there was also the beta lactamase inhibitors and they are known as the cell bactam and the Clemonet, okay. So what did they do? These just cut off from the ampicillin or amoxicillin and they bind, they bind to the beta lactamase, okay. So the two resistance were overcome, okay. So then they were giving much fruitful result, okay. This combination was giving much results, good results against the bacteria they were, that were showing resistance to these penicillins, okay. So this, this, this was a good invention and a good discovery, okay? Now here, just look here, just compare these two slides, this slide and this slide. Now there are much bacteria that are susceptible to this amino penicillin plus beta lactamase inhibitors, okay? So this was a good discovery. Now here is the, just look here to the third and the fourth line. It shows us that which penicillin can be given parental and which can be given oral, okay? So, just look here to the amino penicillin plus beta lactamase inhibitor. The ampicillin plus salmectam can be given intravenously, and the amoxicillin and the cle plus clavonate can be given uh, by oral route. Okay, so this is a bit type of informative slide. Okay, so hope you have understand these concepts about the amino penicillin and the amino penicillin plus beta lactamase inhibitors. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. And if you have understand this video, so like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to science. Thank you very much. God bless you.